What do stoves, candles, and x-rays have in common? They are all typical examples of radiation. But what is radiation and how does it transfer heat? Radiation is the mode or process of heat transfer that does not require a medium. The heat transfer processes of conduction and convection need particles to transfer heat. Radiation, on the other hand, transfers heat through electromagnetic waves that require no medium. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, dark and dull colors on a home's exterior absorb anywhere between 70 to 90% of the sun's energy. Hence, dark paints make a house warmer, while light paints do not. Black absorbs more of the different wavelengths of light energy, followed by violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red in descending order. Now, let's perform an experiment to demonstrate this. So for the experiment, what, we've, what we need are five glasses of the same size, a bottle with normal water, water at normal temperature, or you could even take slightly colder water, and cellophane colored sheets of different shades. So we have taken red, green, yellow, and blue colors, a laboratory thermometer, and also a few rubber bands. So first what we did was that we cut the cellophane sheets into almost this size. This is the size that we've taken. And what we did was we just made it into double. So we took double cellophane sheets of red color and so on. Next what we're going to do is we're going to pour equal amounts of water in all the glasses. So In fact, let's take a little less water, half of them would be good. So here we have taken almost equal amounts of water in all the glasses. We have wrapped all the four glasses in different cellophane sheets and we have left one glass uncovered. Next what we are going to do is we are going to keep all these five glasses in the sun for around one to one and a half hours. So let's go and keep them in the sun. So we've kept all the five glasses in the sun and let's come back and observe them after one, one and a half hours. When we come back, we should come back with the laboratory thermometer, a paper and a pencil to see how the recordings are. And now we're going to record the temperatures of water uh, in all the glasses and We'll try to see how dark colors absorb more light and convert it into more thermal energy or heat and hence this glass is going to be warmer followed by this and this in decreasing order. So let's try to do it one by one. The water in the glass covered by the blue cellophane sheet had the highest temperature of 30 degrees followed by green which was 29, yellow 27, red 25 and the transparent one had a temperature of 23 degrees. So we see that the temperatures in all these glasses were in the decreasing order, right? This was the hottest, warmest I would say and followed by all of these in decreasing order. To get more answers to the latest HOTS questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website.